guys, welcome back. Half fast 719. After my AC failure to rebuild, decided to come out, jack up the toy hauler, and uh, fire up the generator on it. As you can see, these tires, these tires were actually covered. Um, that tire's got some whatever's going on there. Looks like it was rubbing, rubbing on the back somehow. Um, this tire is, I think this one's pretty shot. Yeah, with all that dry rot. And then these other tires. That tire's shot, and that tire's pretty shot. So, um, wanted to, since I have the tires off, um, see I still have water in here. That's fresh water, or old fresh water. Anyway, I decided to take these off. Grease smells really, really good. Doesn't smell cooked, doesn't smell burnt. The drums have no play. Um, so what I'm gonna do, since these are clean in here, I'm gonna take the caps off. I'm gonna pack some grease in here. Probably about fill it up halfway. Um, fill it up halfway. And uh, throw all the caps back on. Call that good. And then, uh, I gotta get up here. Nice and slow. My husband is from Guatemala. Guatemala. Um, hopefully the trailer doesn't fall. But I got these. Oh, she's that felt weird. Got these brand new tires. Ocean. 225, 75, 15. 10 ply low range E. Um, brand new. Well, I've had them for a little bit. So, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take these tires out. See a lot, got a lot of crap in here. Probably half this stuff probably needs to go to Goodwill. Oh boy. So I'm going to put these tires, take them to the little tire shop down the street, because I don't think I want to fight with them. Mm, boy. I don't want to fight them. I don't want to do anything. And uh, just get these tires put on. Get them on the trailer. And then uh, what I'm going to do to protect them, to keep them off the ground. Um, I don't know what I was going to say. Uh, to keep them off the ground, I'm going to take, uh, take these, uh, whatchamacallit, these bed liners. I'll get to it. I'll get to them in a second. And then I'm going to make some covers. The covers I bought from Harbor Freight, they're fine. They cover the top of the tire, but they don't cover the bottom of the tire. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna take these. Little lizard, little lizard trying to jump. Fast little lizard. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the saw. I'm going to rip these down and I'll make two little platforms that I can park on so that they're plastic. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll probably end up using the back section of them. I'll use the back section of them for, uh, to go around the wheel. So, anyway, I'm gonna load all this crap up and uh, 
I might take them down there today. They might close early. If not, I'll take them down Monday, but I'll leave them loaded up. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to throw some grease in there real quick. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I do need to get a battery box. I want to use this battery from the Audi. I want to use this battery, but it's massive. It's huge. So, I kind of want to get a, a longer battery box, which I don't know if they make. I might just go to a Walmart and get two batteries for the toy hauler. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what the plans are. If I'm going to sell it, might just sell this and buy a uh, regular camping trailer. And, uh, oh, wait, let's see how much nasty niff comes out. So, option. Low. Colder. I don't know if that AC even works. Um, but this thing's pretty old. Might have to end up getting a, a new cover. Definitely gonna need some covers. It's blowing cold. Colder. Not sure. So this generator is a 50 LP, which means 5,000 5, watt uh, generator and uh, LP, liquid petroleum. It's uh, cocaine. It's a little bit of funny hot dogs. Well, I can run the microwave and the AC at the same time. Yeah, it's blowing pretty cold. It's pretty cold. Yeah, it's still still working. Put your light. Go ahead. Shut that off. But anyway, um, the fridge is on. I leave. I've left the fridge open. Fridge and freezer. Um, because I usually drink way too much out there in the sand dunes. I go camping, which is why I don't go camping anymore. Because uh, I don't really, I don't really feel like drinking anymore. Drinking is just too much for me. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I got something wrong with my liver or what it is. But uh, I really, I just don't care for drinking anymore. So, uh, what if I end up going back out camping? I'll probably end up camping with a different group. Just so I don't have to drink as much. All the peer pressure of being a sissy because I don't drink. But anyway, that's why I don't go camping anymore. Um, but yeah, so whatever it is, what it is. AC works good. Turn this off. So if I had to live in it, I could live in it. We could live in it, the wife and kid. Um, I just need to get rid of a lot of stuff in here, like all this stuff probably needs to go to Goodwill. I used to keep a backpack full of emergency stuff for the railroad, um, but now I don't because I'm out on the road. Maybe I will later. Um, I had to clean out a locker up in the mountains so I have my onesie for when I was a curve lubricator. It's a messy job. And a riding jacket, another backpack, um, jackets, pants, shirts. Oh, that's just too much crap. I just need to go through it and goodwill it all. So I'll go tomorrow, maybe today, get these tires changed and uh, yeah, I don't like being in here with it up on the stands. So, I'm going to... It's 2.30. Oh, no, it's only 1.30. I'm on uh, Utah time. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and throw them on in the truck. I'm going to eat some food. And, uh, and uh, go get these tires changed real quick. 
So let me pack some grease, shut this off, load it, and then uh, I'll be back uh, with new tires installed. And then I'll have to move the trailer, obviously, and uh, cut down these bed liners. So I'll be back, guys. All right, people. Got the tires installed or mounted. Not balanced. So I'm going to take the most dangerous chemical known to man out there with me. It's worse than any any virus, any infection. If any of you work on cars, you know it's the stuff. NICs. Stuff. Carrying it in these two fingers, you watch. I'm going to have some under my arm, under my eyelid, I'm going to have some in some cavities. Be chewing gum. The gum will turn silver. I don't know how it does it, but it just does. So, took it down there. Uh, got them mounted. The guy charged 30 bucks. I gave him 40 bucks. Um, said something about I had to change a couple valve stems. He said, I changed two valve stems. And I said, oh, okay, good. $40. Oh, okay. Okay. So, these two, he changed the valve stems. So, got new tires. I did pump. I put in about 10 pumps of grease into all the caps. And then I was hitting the uh, brake drum with the hammer as I was rotating it. As you can see all the gold dust. So, I do need to get a new fender thing because this tire blew out. One day I was coming back, me, the kid, and uh, one of my buddies. We were coming back and it was super windy, wind was blowing in that direction. And it blew out a tire. So anyway, I'm going to throw some anises on the studs. Tighten this side down. Do the same thing over there. Lower it because I don't like it being on these stands. So... Got the impact, got the sockets, got the uh, anti-seize, the AS2000 virus. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm gonna get busy. You guys don't need me to no, don't need to see me doing this. It is what it is. So do a walk around once I'm all done. See if the tires hold air. All right, I got all four wheels and tires on. No more. Little jack thingies. Got that unhooked. Wheels and tires over there. Let's see if I remember how to back a truck up. You saw it moved. It's all good. Got it up here. Truck is squatting in the rear. Probably have to do well. I got the distribution hitch, but probably have to do uh, maybe some airbags in the rear. But it's here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. Get this ready go dirt bike riding so anyway got tires on finally 
after however many years. Oh, I did find a, a headlight in the, in the barn. So I'm going to wash it, scrub her down. As you can see all the, the bed paint or whatever that junk is. It's all dirty. How bad we're squatting. American style. Anyway, if uh, any of you hitch companies want to send me a hitch that I can test out, feel free. Address is below. Uh, like Rhino Hitch. Anyway, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys have been doing. Thanks for doing what you guys have been doing. See you guys on the next video. Peace.